The salmon farming industry is striking back after two new studies indicated sea lice are spreading. The studies were released in the Journal of Applied Ecology, and both say the lice are jumping from pink salmon to coho. One of the studies also says coho in the Brighton archipelago are dramatically decreasing during sea lice infestations. The association representing salmon farmers says those studies venture into murky water and are based on the same information that wrongly predicted pink salmon runs would become extinct. A News reporter Gord Curvis has the story. For years, they have been stuck in the middle of an ongoing dispute over the benefits or dangers of open net farming. Now, BC salmon are front and center once again with two new studies. But it should be a wake up call. We've seen other studies around the world that have looked at salmon farming impacts. And one recently um, saw about a 50% decline in wild salmon populations wherever there was salmon farming. The study showed that sea lice were jumping from farm salmon to wild coho. They were conducted by students from Simon Fraser and the University of Washington and scientists from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans. Watershed Watch Salmon Society co-sponsored one of the studies and hopes the government takes action. The regulators should know and they should admit that salmon farms impact wild fish. Uh, they're not really admitting that at this point. These papers show clearly that they do. The BC Salmon Farmers Association is dismissing the studies, saying they're based on the same information that incorrectly indicated pink salmon numbers were on the decline. We really feel that to really look at what's happening to wild salmon survival, there needs to be a really broad context perspective taken and they need to look at a multitude of factors. And now another group is weighing in on the dispute, the association representing employees of companies that supply materials to the aquaculture industry. They said that uh Pink salmon would be extinct by now. They are not. They said that the Fraser River sockeye are in danger from salmon farmers. They are not. You know, we feel that their criticism has been unfair, unfounded, and untrue. Anti salmon farming critics have accused. Positive Aquaculture Awareness has just released a video trying to counteract what it says are inaccurate claims being made by some environmentalists. I think that activists are, is, is a big business in itself, and they're being paid to uh, criticize our industry. Watershed Watch says there is only one way to guarantee that fish farms don't harm wild salmon. The way we control this is to get these farms out of the water and put them on land in closed containment systems where we don't have the disease and lice transfer that we see happening in the open net cage systems. Information on those latest reports can be found at journalofappliedecology.org. In Campbell River, Gord Kerbis, A News.